The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived at the V&A, received by the Lord and Lady Provost. Also joining the Royals were the Director and Chairman of the V&A for the official opening of the museum. Ahead of the visit, I spoke to some members of the public who were keen to get a peek at the Royal couple. They're like, being the head of state, they like represent obviously the nation um, and like they're sort of like set the moral like high ground with the bar, I think. And it's like the continuation of tradition in yeah. our country, I think it's quite important to maintain a sense of national identity. <laughs> They can also not be important to you, that's an intellectual answer. I don't know if they're really important to me, but I just find them really interesting. <laughs> I think they're like celebrities more than yeah. anything else. Yeah. The public weren't quite sure if William and Kate represented a modern monarchy, but still upheld a traditional version of what many in the UK hold dear. I don't know, I still feel like they're quite traditional. Yeah, I feel like... Um, more so perhaps Meghan and Harry which represent more forward thinking, like value, value systems and world views, but I'm not really sure. Quite a deprived area. Um, so I think it's important that like everywhere is like they come everywhere every, everyone feels valued. Yeah. 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 I think it should be part of their job to show attention to the places they come together. Details of the visit were kept under wraps. But as word got around, members of the public flocked to the gates to get a good view. I spoke to some visitors who highlighted the positive change the royal family makes. Yeah, yeah. we saw it in, uh, on Twitter or something. Like, and we thought it'd be just nice to see what's going on. Exactly. Uh, they love it because they're so unique to Britain. I mean, there are royal families around the world, but I don't think no royal family can ever like expose themselves as the royals do here in the UK especially. They go around different places to charity, stuff like that, you know what I mean? They encourage positive change. Because Dundee is an example of change and Dundee is really developing and changing for the future. So I think they're really recognizing that, they encourage change and they encourage positive change. I'd say so. Like the, the younger generation and I from what I've heard from what I've seen, they, they often go out in public and just visit other places. You know, they get out there and they're in contact with the public quite often. And yeah, I think it's uh, more appealing for like uh, the youth of today. Like, we never really see the Queen, but you always hear things about it. So, okay, of course, they are their own models after all. They have to be really good, and then they are really good, and that's really good. After their visit to the V&A, the Duke and Duchess were heading to the Michelin factory to discuss the effects of the closure before heading home. Lee Doggetti, That's TV.